so what we saw yesterday was government coming to inform the public that there is basically nothing that they can do for NIB, and NIB is going to be liquidated. But what does that liquidation mean? So liquidation basically means the company is going to be shut down, it's going to close its stores, and its assets are going to be sold. And then the money recovered from the sale of those assets is going to be used to pay the liabilities of the company. According to the ministers yesterday, um, NMBS future is very bleak. Um, they have a debt level of around about three billion, and match to its assets is around about nine hundred and thirty-one million. So you have that gap, that difference of over two point one billion that needs to be settled. Um, and the only option was for them to close down the airline. So liquidation only happens when the company is considered insolvent. And insolvency is basically another company, another fancy accounting term that tells that a company is unable to pay its liabilities as they become due. And that was the case of Enamibia. Even according to what the minister said, Enamibia has never made a profit since inception. And it had 19, 19 routes and 15 of those were all in the loss-making position. And I think what is very important um, to maybe consider is whether this is now what has become uh, the norm for state-owned entities that if they can't make a profit, then the risk being closed down. According to the ministers yesterday, there is not a, there is no definite answer um, as to whether other loss-making operations or state-owned entities will be closed down. But I think if they can do it for NIMB, I think they can do it for any other entity as well. Um, the other question was also whether why was it not that... Um, the government had offered um, Air Namibia to be acquired by either other airlines or um, the public at large or to be privatized. But according to the ministers, um, they say the airline was offered to other um, potential airline um, airline operating businesses that are already established and none of them showed interest in, in buying up stake or buying up the entirety of Air Namibia. Air Namibia has not produced financial statements in the last three to four years. So it's not also quite clear what the government is used to access on the future of Namibia, um, and that still remains to be given out to the public. Um, and also I think from financials that we have that are available, you could clearly see that there's interference by government officials into the affairs of Namibia. Ministries, for example, were still owing Namibia millions, um, so they deprived the airline uh, of cash in some instances, and in some instances they even had to write down that cash. Um, so those are some of the things. And I think there was also talks that um, government officials themselves were interfering the, in the day-to-day -day operations of Namibia, And that kind of um, led to also um, operational inefficiencies, which then led to the loss um, the companies was making.